Hey everyone, it's Andy here from Saving to Invest. And today I wanted to talk about a hot topic that's circulating our airwaves, and that's really around Joe Biden's economic policy. And it's really uh, centering around two topics that I've talked about a fair bit here, around stimulus checks and unemployment benefit extensions. And you can see the 10 or 12 videos I've posted over the last few days on this topic. But essentially what people are saying is Biden is going to push for a $2,000 stimulus check most likely this will be made up of the original 600 uh, payment that's happening right now that was approved under the COVID Relief Act and another 1400 payment that may come in March 2021. And I'll talk a little bit about how that's going to work. And then I think there's also going to be another unemployment benefits extension, just given the amount of unemployment uh, we're seeing. And it doesn't look like it's going to get much better over the next three months as COVID is going to ravage the state's at least till the summer. So I think there will be another extension to unemployment benefits extension. I'll go into a little bit more details. And as always, if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing and liking this video. The more people like and subscribe, the more I can do more of these videos. I'm going to play a quick excerpt now of Joe Biden's speech that just talks about his plans and why I think this actually will happen. And I want to reiterate this is completely my opinion. Um, there's no formal agenda put forward, but this is based on what I've read and what I've seen and what I think will happen over the next few months. Please consider this informational. The December jobs, this December jobs report shows millions of Americans are still hurting through no fault of their own. We lost another 140,000 jobs. The first negative jobs report since the height of the pandemic in the spring. More people, more people have just lost a job while many have been out of work for a long time. The job report shows we need to provide more immediate relief for working families and businesses now, now. Not just to help them get to the other side of this painful crisis, but a larger purpose, to avoid a broader economic cost that exists out there that will happen due to long-term unemployment, hunger, homelessness, and business failings. So as you can see from the video, there's little doubt that Biden's pushing for another stimulus package. And he said the initial one, the COVID relief bill, that was the $900 billion, was just a down payment of the bigger one he wants to get once his administration starts. And based on previous administrations, he will probably be able to have the political capital to do another stimulus bill. I think it'll be probably in the one and a half trillion dollar mark. It won't be as large as maybe the two trillion dollar that some people thought he would get, just because there's going to be also some pretty moderate Democrats that don't want to risk losing um, their seats in two years time or in four years time. So I think the next stimulus bill will include extra payments, especially stimulus payments and unemployment benefits, but it won't be as massive as maybe what people are thinking. So what's going to happen, the $600 stimulus that just recently paid under the COVID relief bill, the $900 billion bill, that's already been paid. I think the next one will be $1,400. So it'll sort of be a justification and up to $1,400. It may be a little bit less. It may end up at $1,000 depending on the overall package. But let's just say it's going to be $1,400. I think it'll be paid sometime in March to April 2021. And this is important because this will go to my other points. It may not happen immediately in March. It may go to April just to allow people to use their 2020 tax return information for that. But overall, the total stimulus will be classified as 2000 So Biden can say he met his promise, but he'll, it still won't be, I think, 2000 on top of the 600 I think it'll be 2000 in total. The senators, Democratic senators like Joe Manchin from West Virginia have already said that they would not approve more than that. And I think, you know, this 1400 is probably going to be the high end of it and it'll be paid out. It should be very similar to the $600 payment. Um, but like I said, I think it'll use 2020 tax information for those who have filed. And this is important for two reasons. I think it'll have more people eligible just because people's incomes were probably taken a pretty big hit in 2020. So they may actually drop the income thresholds to qualify for the $1,400 Biden stimulus, as I'm going to call it. But because if they use 2020 tax returns, people can have a lower income threshold, so they'll qualify more. But more importantly... I think it'll allow more people to update their bank accounts, their dependent information, that kind of stuff, because they would have to have done that anyway to claim this current, the last two stimuluses, which they won't got paid. So if they use the 2020 tax information, they should have the latest information. I think there'll be another dependent credit in the $1,400 Biden stimulus, and so that plus the $1,400 technically is $2,000 to some families. But that dependent credit is very popular. Um, it obviously helps dependents. 
it may be expanded to college and high school kids. That's been a big gap in the last two stimulus packages. So basically, this will be dependence under the age of 24 versus under the age of 17 that's there today. This would definitely cost a lot more, so it may affect the amount. But I think this will be something that will get some popular support because there are a lot of college and high school kids who have also been hit because their families have lost jobs and you know struggled through COVID. So I think that expansion may happen this time. It wasn't as much support before because of the cost and this group was sort of marginalized, but this may actually happen this time. They may also put some more restrictions on this payment so it's more targeted. They keep talking about a targeted federal stimulus, but every time they put new rules and it takes longer to roll out. But there are a lot of groups and who, you know, who haven't lost jobs, government workers, people in the military, people who maybe, you know, had no unemployment. So by using more recent tax returns, they can actually have a better idea of income. But there's a lot of people who probably have got the last two stimulus payments that really didn't need it because they never lost a job or they never really needed more. So maybe change, I don't know how they can do this because the more, like I said, the more rules you put in, the more constrictive paying this out becomes. But they should probably try and make it a little bit more targeted to make it more effective. The other two things that I think you may see uh, happen from an unemployment perspective. So the stimulus will happen, one-time payment, but probably what will affect more people in larger groups is that unemployment, extending the enhanced unemployment. So I think the PUA and PEUC programs will be extended to the end of 2021. So again, the PUA program, and I've, I'll show some videos and links here where I've done this, is for gig workers, freelancers, contractors who don't normally get regular insurance. And PEUC, Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, is more about extending regular state benefits to those who have run out of their, their benefit here or don't, didn't qualify for additional benefits. So between these two programs, it helps, you know, close to 15 million Americans. So they may extend this to the end of 2021. Uh, payments, again, were maybe adjusted a little bit to make the program more affordable. But I would not be surprised if there's a push to extend this, just given that they don't want to get people too much into long-term unemployment but lose all benefits and then start becoming a burden to society. So these two programs may be extended, um, probably tied again to the state unemployment rate. And the other one, I think you may get some more supplementary payments. It's $300 right now. Let's talk about it going to 600. I don't think it'll go to 600. I think it'll stay at 300. So this is a federal pandemic emergency unemployment compensation, a weekly extra payment. This probably will be extended for another 20 weeks. The current payment ends March 14th. So they may extend this program so it at least takes people through summer. Um, so then that'll be extended. So these are the two things I think will happen. There'll be some minor changes around to the um, mixed earning compensation. That's a $100 payment. But I think these two big programs, these three big programs will be extended as part of Biden's new stimulus package that'll be announced likely in the next four to six weeks. Anyway, I hope that was useful for you and I'll post uh, some more updates as soon as they come through. Thanks. Bye.